In LOSI, we are supposed to compute, calculate and interpret the surplus consumer, producer and the total sur surplus. So these are the three surplus item, consumer, producer and total surplus. We need to understand what is the surplus and how it gets generated. Think about it, this is your price and quantity. Okay, this is the equilibrium uh, quantity that is being produced and this is the equilibrium price. Okay, now if this is your demand line, which is nothing but the marginal benefit curve, we will see about this marginal benefit later. Okay, and this is your supply, which is the marginal cost curve. Right now, if you see this demand line, okay, the marginal benefit line. If you think the first unit that is being sold, okay, it th in this first unit, the person who is buying, he is actually willing to pay this much price. Okay but he will pay only this P as a result this is additional benefit to him so he his benefit total from consuming that product let's say this is 10 his benefit from consuming that total product is 15 okay but since he is paying only 10 he's he is getting a surplus of dollar five so this is your consumer surplus okay that is to when it's only one unit is sold when another unit is sold think about it when this unit is sold Okay, the person he is willing to shell out fourteen dollar. Okay, but he is selling out only ten dollar. So the surplus for him is four. Like likewise, if we add all the surplus, we will be able to get what is the total consumer surplus. So if you see our this demand curve are continuous and our supply curve are continuous. So we will not try to find out item by item but since this is a continuous and we have seen in uh, continuous cases we will get go by the area so this total area will give us the benefit so that is your consumer surplus now we will see how to compute because the LOS is asking you to compute the computation is pretty simple okay you have to find out the area of this triangle okay so the triangle area can be found out by since this is a right angle triangle Okay, it will be half into base into height. So this is your base and this is your height. So what we would try to find out what would be this value and then this value. Okay, now this value would be exactly like your would be exactly your equilibrium quantity. Okay, this is your equilibrium price and this is the point okay, where the quantity is zero. So we can get this quantity zero by seeing from the demand curve. So at this what quantity zero we get uh, the price. So we will get this price and we can get the difference. So we'll be we'll be doing this that computation. But this is just the schematic and workflow for doing that kind of computation. Okay. Now let us understand what is producer surplus. Think about it. This is your marginal cost curve or the supply curve. Okay. A producer if he is supplying one unit of quantity, his cost to supply that one unit of quantity is two dollar. But he is selling that one unit of quantity at ten dollar. So he is actually getting this benefit of eight dollar when he is supplying, right? And that ben that is the surplus that he is getting. He is generating, right? And likewise, if we produce second quantity, he will produce some surplus and so on and so forth till this point. Note that. Here he will, beyond this point, he will not generate surplus. Why? We have seen earlier that the cost to produce is this much, but he will be getting only the price as this. So this will be a loss to him. So he will supply only till this equilibrium quantity and this area okay, will give us the producer surplus. Okay. Now if I add this consumer surplus and producer surplus area, this total area, okay, this total area will give me the total surplus. So these are the various surplus items that we have. Okay, right. Now the next point that they are uh, asking in the same LOS okay, is computation of the deadweight loss. So they are saying that what is deadweight loss. So please note that deadweight loss you will find okay, it will occur whenever there is inefficient allocation of resources when the resources are not allocated efficiently please note that our when we talk about the allocation of resources our allocation is this equilibrium quantity is the allocation and our equilibrium price so we should allocate all the quantity at this price ok 
okay if you find that any mismatch is there between this quantity and this price so if it is quantity is any different than this okay either more or less you will find that there will be deviation from the equilibrium and there will be certain losses that we will observe right so what we want to understand is what if the production is lower so what if there is under production under production means the quantity produced is lower than the equilibrium quantity then what is going to happen what if there is over production if the quantity produced is greater than the equilibrium quantity what is the impact that you will see in the graphs that is what you need to understand those things we will see in the dead weight loss items so let us understand that what will happen when there is under production okay so see uh, over here okay the, we have the same thing okay that is we have the price over here and here the quantity this is the initial equilibrium quantity that was produced and this is the equilibrium price so we were producing this this much quantity at this much price okay now what happened is like whatever is the reason suppose that the quantity that is being produced is this much that is it is below the equilibrium quantity so this is the new quantity that is being produced okay now when the quantity is lower it may be like it you can charge higher price lower price okay but think about it if this is the quantity that is being produced okay what will happen to the total surplus this will be the total surplus and what has happened to the earlier total surplus please the earlier total surplus was ex this area okay but if you see from this entire big big area okay now the surplus is only this much okay so what has happened is we have lost on this surplus this area so this area whichever is lost it is known as your dead weight loss okay so what is dead weight loss this why it is called as dead weight okay this is known as dead weight because it is a loss to the entire economy okay so nobody is gaining any benefit out of it it is because that there is under production okay it may happen that the seller are able to charge higher price so the consumer surplus will reduce to this and the producer surplus will be this okay but the still the total surplus is lower maybe producer are getting more than what they were getting earlier consumer are getting definitely lower than what they were getting earlier but this is a loss to the entire economy that is why it is known as dead weight it is gone from the economy so and it cannot be recovered so that is why we say that it should always be produced at the equilibrium quantity okay now let us see an example wherein you have the loss coming from the over production okay so it's the same you have this is the equilibrium quantity this is the equilibrium price for whatever the reason the supplier thought that they will produce more okay so when they start producing more what happens is okay this would be the new quantity that would be demanded right and the surplus think about the surplus okay what would be the surplus okay so if this were the this is the new quantity please note that the buyers are not going to pay them any extra this is the price that the equilibrium will be right so what happens is the buyers okay are getting uh, at lower prices okay and if you see this point to understand that let us see on this diagram you have this is the supply this is the demand this is the over production this was the equilibrium quantity right now if you see when you are producing this is the quantity that you are producing the price will come from the demand curve and this will be the new price so this will be the new price because you are producing more people will not buy your product now think about it if you are producing this is a quantity buyers this is a demand curve so they are able to get this benefit this is a surplus right but you are selling something at this price okay let's say this price this original price was let's uh, the equilibrium price was 10 let's say this is you are selling at 8 Okay, if you are selling at eight, what happens is for per unit that you are selling, you are incurring loss. So for this unit, you have incurred this loss. For this unit, you have incurred this loss. Why? Because your cost, this you know that the supply is nothing but the marginal cost. Your marginal cost is more than the marginal uh, is more than the price that you are getting. So this entire area is your loss. Okay, and this loss has actually uh, been dealt on the supplier. 
right so this is a loss to the economy suppliers loss is lost to the economy so there is deadweight loss okay note that this is a gain to the buyer so this entire area is not loss okay this is a gain to the buyer so deadweight loss is only this note that the loss to the suppliers will be more than the deadweight loss okay again understand again see this diagram this is the equilibrium quantity this is the quantity that you are producing okay the selling is happening at this price so let's say this is the price at which the selling is happening okay so sellers are selling at this price whereas their marginal cost is uh, is this so their total loss would be this okay but since they are losing this entire okay buyers are gaining okay so buyers are gaining at the expense of seller but not to the whole extent they are gaining only this part they are only getting this part and this part is lost and that is why this is known as deadweight loss okay a very good way to identify this deadweight losses are this will be in the form of this triangle so if you can spot this type of triangle you will be able to understand this deadweight losses right so just it was giving you idea about the deadweight losses okay so just going back and see that uh, how do we compute the total surplus uh, and the producer surplus and the consumer surplus so for that we will see our this diagram okay so let us see this uh, problem so here we are asked to compute the surplus and the functions are given so it should be demand and supply functions both are given to you not only the so both the demand and supply functions are given to you let us see what is the a uh, computation of the various surplus item okay so what i have done is i have done this uh, earlier only okay so the demand is given as 30 minus p see this is a demand because if the price increases the demand is decreasing and this is a supply function right now to understand the demand uh, to understand that uh, surplus what we need to do is okay so to get we need to get this equilibrium quantity and we get this equilibrium price because if we get this equilibrium price then we will be able to identify this this distance and equilibrium quantity will give us this distance similarly we need to know what is the price at which the demand will become zero okay so the price at which demand will become zero and i have to identify the price at which the supply will become zero if i need if i get this price at which demand is zero equilibrium price price at which supply is zero and equilibrium quantity i am done with my work right so first how do you get this equilibrium quantity what you do is you equate this to because quantity demanded should be equal to the quantity supplied at equilibrium so what i am doing is i am equating 30 minus p and minus 30 plus p okay bring this to this side so it will be 30 plus 30 and this to this side it will be 6p and as a result your p will be equal to p will be equal to 60 by 6 or 10 right so you have got the price as 10 so equilibrium price has got as 10 so when the equilibrium price is 10 what is the equilibrium quantity so find the equilibrium quantity putting the price as 10 so if p is equal to 10 what is the quantity supplied which will be same as quantity demanded so in this equation minus 30 plus 5 into 10 i will get 20 is the equilibrium quantity okay now next i have to get what is a what is a price when demand is zero so if the quantity demanded is zero you need to find out the price so quantity demanded is zero and the equation is quantity demanded is 30 minus p so this is zero and 30 minus p so it will mean p is equal to 30 okay if quantity supplied is zero you are asked to find out the p quantity supplied is zero minus 30 plus 5p so your price is equal to 6 so this is your 6 this is your 30 and equilibrium is 10 right so what we'll do is we'll plot over here so this is 30 10 and 6 so we are being asked to compute the consumer surplus and the producer surplus so how do we get the consumer surplus so remember in consumer surplus i said that it will be half into base into height so if you see this is the height so what will be this 30 minus 10 20 and this base will be again 20 because it is 0 0 to 20 so the consumer surplus will become half into 20 into 20 that will be 200 20 into 20 is 400 divided by 2 200 so what will the producer surplus 
you have to compute this so half into base into height same here because it's a right angle triangle okay so half into 10 minus 6 is 4 okay and this will be equal to so this will be equal to 20 so this will be 80 and 40 right so the consumer surplus is 200 producer surplus is 40 so the total surplus is the sum of 240 it is your 240 is the total surplus right so that is your computation of the surplus right so this is how you will compute the surplus right and in the book you will have a uh, uh, seen uh, examples are given make sure that you solve so this completes your LOSI. We will